this is the videotape. You can see a Powell Valley player challenging an Appalachia player. Hey, Travis West, I'm going to kill you. Fifteen students have been suspended because of this tape. Ten for making obscene gestures, five for using tobacco. Melvin Eade says that's not enough. His grandson plays for Appalachia. What can I think when one comes up there and says my grandson's name and says, I'm going to get you or something to that effect, you know. Well, you know, you might want to laugh about this, but see, it's my grandson, not theirs. Mm -hmm. See, and I take these things serious. Eid says attorneys he's consulted with tell him that this statement may be a civil rights violation. Community sentiment about the tape is mixed. Well, I think it's a shame, such a good ball game the other night. I'm proud of both teams. And then something like this comes out of it. I didn't want to believe it, but uh, I've seen the film in it. I used to play football for Powell Valley, and uh, I can understand the excitement, especially after winning a big football game, you know, the kind of game it was with Appalachia. And, uh, I just believe the kids, you know, maybe took a little bit too far. Most of the folks we've talked to say they wish this incident had just ended here at Bullet Park. But Melvin Eade says it's not that simple. But Eade says he doesn't want to see students punished anymore. The principal of the school in question, and I think the head coach at the school in question, should also be reprimanded. That decision is up to the Wise County School Board. Earlier this week, members voted to allow Powell Valley to handle the incident before it steps in. We, we feel confident that uh, our kids did not mean any harm towards any person, and they are really ashamed of what has happened. People look at us like we're causing a, a, a big issue or making things happen. Listen, they made the tape. They hand-delivered that tape to one of Appalachia High School's football players. Now the 10 Powell Valley players suspended for profanity will not be playing football this weekend. For the profanity and obscene gestures, they will miss Saturday's game. And we want to point out that the rivalry is only about football. Residents of both towns are less than four miles apart and live and work very well together. Most every hospital in Northeast Tennessee is now the target of a Justice Department probe. The focus... Even with 10 Paul Valley football players suspended for today's playoff tilt with Coburn, the 10-0 Vikings should still have their way with the Blue Knights. And what a day for football. Cold, dreary, wet. Ooh, it even gives me the chills. Roll the highlights from Big Stone Gap. The Blue Knights have a little spirit going in the rain and the sleet. PV's Jake Stepp connects. Josh Warren, number nine. The big guy is tough, tough, tough to bring down. The next play is a sweep to Josh Callahan. He gets in for the score. Paul Valley is in command. Hey, they show off their defense. Watch as they get right into the Blue Knight backfield. Nowhere to go, all swarmed up. The Vikings would tack on one final score as they win this one big and move on. 48 to 14 is the final. The Vikings roll over Coburn. Well, I'm just uh, really proud of our kids. We uh, prepared with this group from early in the week. Uh, we felt like they could play good and would play good, and they did. 20 to 3 over Virginia Tech. So Thomas Jones doing very well for the Cavs as they lead. Virginia Tech, 20 to 3. Top 25, look at this huge upset. Michigan State all over number 4, Penn State. Georgia, in a, and as I catch up on the scripts, I'm going to show you right there. Frank Wade straight in for six, two-point conversion. They would lead 15-14. Gate City with the ball, fourth and one. Jake Housewright is stuffed, stuffed right there. Jefferson Forrest takes over, but the Blue Devils will get one last shot. 15-14, 14 seconds to go. Adam McClellan with a 34-yard field goal to win it. 17-15. It wasn't pretty, but it's a win. Mainly broke down a couple times, but we won. That's all that matters. I'm proud of the team. Lyon did a heck of a job blocking on that. I was over there on the sidelines praying as hard as I could that he'd make it. Come a long, long way since uh, our first jamboree. 
And here we are getting to play for the big dog again here next week. And, uh, you know, it's going to be another fun week of preparation. Looking forward to it. In Bullet Park, Paul Valley hosting Radford. The Bobcats ready for battle. Matt McCoy on the handoff. And watch what he does. Goes 35 yards to the one foot line. If big number 44 was just about an inch taller, he might have been in. Quarterback Jake Stepp takes care of the rest. Watch as he gets into the end zone right there. 7 0. The Vikings on top. Then the Vikings driving again. McCoy, there was some controversy, but it looks like a fumble. But it turns out it doesn't matter. The Viking D takes over and hold Radford to, a, to 10 points. They win 28 to 10. Over in Hot Springs, Appalachia goes head to head with Bath County. This one all Bulldogs early and often. Josh Fleener with the big gainer to Bath County's 17 yard line. Two plays later, Travis Turner, watch what he does. He's like a touchdown. Hey, he gets popped, but he gets in. Eight nothing after the two point conversion. Now the other Travis, it's time, it's Clark. Travis Clark who breaks off a little something something 74 yards later, he's in for the score. Appalachia rolls today, 42 nothing over Bath County. A huge win for the dogs. In Lynchburg, Lee High in action. Masters today on the Gobblers. And why not give it to Jake Housewright? The big guy gets, oh, so close to the touchdown. Not to worry, Devil fans, because you have Andy Smith converted from the line. Big 33 gets in. Gate City rolling, looking good. Broadway having a tough time all afternoon. The Blue Devil defense was big this afternoon. Brandon Seaver picks off the gobbler pass, gobbles it up, and that's it. So Gate City is the group AA Division II state champs. Congrats, 24-0 is the final. Came out fired up tonight. We knew we could shut them down if we played our best. And we everybody came out and we played real good and we did just that. Great chance, how's it feel? Oh, it's the best feeling in the world. Come on, reporter man, of course it's great. Over in Big Stone Gap Group, single A, Division II state title on the line. Powell Valley and Powhatan. The Vikings, Matt McCoy, number 44, snags the screen pass. Yes, we do. We lose him, but he rumbles down to the three-yard line. Then, Julius Jones. This kid's done it all year for Powell Valley. Watch his Oh, number 22. I guess we're going to show you Matt McCoy on this one, but I'm going to tell you that Julius Jones is an awesome player like his brother, number 22, dragging people into the end zone. They also win the state title. 28-7 is the final over Powhatan. Group single A, Division I, Appalachia. Congrats, the Bulldogs. A field goal better over Surrey County. Wake Forest lost Tim Duncan to the NBA. Not to worry, the Demon Deeks have another quality player. Okay, he may not be a major.